Joseph Evans Jr. here again, once again. Um, we're going to get into really the finishing touches of the beat here in GarageBand. Um, as you can see, I've added some new parts or new elements. I finished the, the track for the most part, at least the basic elements of the loop. And I want to show you a couple of things. Now, when you think about tracking out a beat, now don't think about a beat. Think about a song. OK, your beats are songs. OK, like for real, for real. Whenever you, you know, sign up to get publishing, you are actually a creator or a writer um, of the song. You own 50 percent writer share on any song that you produce with your beat because you're also a songwriter. But your your words are not words. Your words are the melody or, or, or you know, the beat. OK, so you spit 50 percent 50 on that. That's a side note. Um so you want to think when you know what parts are songs. So that would be the really the next step here before you know you, before you really get into anything. You want to listen to different parts of your beat. So let's just check this out, and we can see what parts could be like, you know, um, you know, the hook. Uh, what parts could be the verse? What parts could be like build ups within the verse? What parts could be, you know, a verse two, or what parts could be, you know, et cetera, et cetera, bridge or whatever. Um, and maybe y'all don't know exactly all the different elements of the song, but let's see in a song, you have an intro I mean, usually you're going to either go straight into a verse or go to the hook or the, the hook is like the most catchy part of the song hook or chorus. Okay. And after that, you have verses, you have maybe two to three verses, depending on the type of track you're making. All right. Now your verses, that's where you're really going to tell the story within the song. Okay. And, um, Last but not least, you're also going to have some type of things that people call it different. They have the vamp or the bridge, which is just a different element to kind of mix up the monotony of the song. Throw a left a curveball in the song, if you will. OK. And then after you, you know, give a good blend between hook, verse, hook, verse, vamp or bridge, et cetera. At some point, you're going to end the song and that's going to be your outro. OK, so you want to be thinking these things, mental notes, not really super major, but mental notes while you're listening to it. So let's listen to it and listen, listen to some more stuff I added. OK, so that's a pretty dope part right there. And I also added some. Uh, That's another part I added. And I feel like that should, that part should be the chorus or the hook. This little part right here, because everything else is kind of just riding. You know what I mean? Of course, you have some of these. saying that's a good chorus part and it makes sense once you add the drums you know you, you, you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying it seems like a chorus all right so there's different these different elements here and i'm um before you really start getting everything going it's good to go ahead and organize your track. OK, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Drums. One. OK. And I'm going to say drums. Two. I'm going to put that at the top. The next thing I want to I'm kind of like building a house. Next thing I want to have is my bass parts. OK, now this is one of the main bass parts. So I'm going to put you know, my bass right here and then put my second bass here. And the cool thing is I added another bass and we're going to put that in here. So I'm just going to say bass one, bass two, bass three. OK. Um, you can name it whatever you want. <sighs> 
but it's very important that you do name your tracks so that when you start getting it really going, and if you had to track out your beat, you know what what what's going on. You know what you have here. So you want to name all this stuff. And um, technically, while you're making your beat, you want to name everything as you go. OK, and I'm just going to keep it simple here and say ARP for a short for arpeggiator. I'm going to say one and you can just copy and paste here. You know. OK, and then um, I'm going to say. I'm going to say motion. My bad. Well, see, motion is not really something that you would say here. I'm going to say like uh, art pad. OK, I'm going to say art pad. OK, this is just to differentiate these these two elements here. A name is just a name. That's all it is. And it's really just there to help you to recognize what what it is that you're playing. OK, and then I have a piano track here. Let me just you can solo it. And press play. All right. So that's piano. OK, string. Guitar, and then I'm gonna say, um, <sighs> we're just gonna say lead. All right, so we have everything named, and let's see here, we should be able to name every reason. It should be, you know, let's see here. Anyway, you get the point here. We know which which what's 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 what. There's a way for us to to rename the whole regions here. I'm gonna let you know here later how to do that um, without having to keep go going in each one. It's a simple way to do it. But um, for time purposes, I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna track it out. All right. So once you have everything here, what you're gonna do now is now just make a. Um, just go ahead and duplicate everything. So I'm going to push command C to copy it. The greater than or less than signs to move over here to the end of this loop. And I'm going to push command V to paste it. So that's one. And I want to show you something. OK, now check this out. This is eight bars. Now, eight bars is a good enough intro. And then we might want to have a chorus. OK. Um, and depending on how you look at it, it could be four bars if you count like a little bit. You know, anyway, we'll get to that later. But basically, let's say like this is going to be your intro chorus. Um, you're, you're, we're going to make this like your your. Uh, yeah, your verse. And then. Your chorus. Now we can make depending on how we like it, we can make the chorus eight bars or 16 you know we just have to just check and see how it flows because every beat is different so let's just play it real quick all right so cool Excuse me. We're going to make this um, we're going to double this up. So this is going to be. That length is going to be for the, the chorus and you're, it's all going to make sense here in a second, because I'm going to show you a super quick trick here. OK. Bear with me. All right. So check this out. I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to come over here. It's going to make sense in just a second. It's a, it's a cheat code. I'm going to show you real quick. All right. So check this out. Let's do it like this. All right. 
So you want to make sure that you copied and pasted everything right, because sometimes what happens is you might have accidentally had this, like, say, right here, and then your beat be all off. It has to copy and paste exactly right on the grid where it needs to be, okay? So you double check on that, and you say, all right, now this is going to be my intro, this is going to be my chorus, and then this is going to be my verse, and then we're going to double it up, all right? So let's just see what is our chorus. Let's just, let me just show you something real quick. So this is our chorus. Let's just find out what instruments we're going to be playing during this chorus. All right, so that's pretty much the chorus here. All right, so what I'm going to do is really the main difference um, in this is going to be during the verse. OK, because we're pretty much all of this and this is going to this is not going to be and I'm going to push command X to get rid of that. That's not going to be during the, the chorus at all. All right. I'm going to leave this here because you're, we're going to see in a second. All right, so check this out. Boom. We're going to leave these here because we're, we're going to probably mix this up throughout the throughout the um, song. Okay? But one thing that's going to immediately drop off during the uh, verses is this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just exit that out. Okay? And probably this stuff is going to exit out too, but we're going to leave it there for the sake of this song. OK. Cool. Now, now that that's taken care of, what, what we're going to do is. We're going to copy and paste this, this, this loop here is good. This is another loop. Let me show you. Boom. I'm going to copy it. Paste it. It's the chorus. All right. Then you have another verse. You have another verse and we're going to end it off with like, and you can see, all right, well, where are we in the song? You just come over here and say, all right, we're at five minutes. That's too long. So what we can do is right here, you can just make this part like the, you know, the outro. You, you feel what I'm saying? So check this out. Command X. All right. And that was that simple. So to go over this again, and I'm in the next lecture, I'm going to actually thoroughly kind of break down the song a little bit more, add some more details to it and everything. But just to break this down again, what you do is you make sure you have everything named and make sure you have everything in order. OK, so you know where everything is. That's very crucial, because once we start really breaking this down, that is uh, going to be necessary for really going forth in this. After you get do that, the next step you're going to do is you're going to high, like um, select everything and then begin to make duplicates of that. You want to duplicate it out a certain amount of times just so you have enough to do a intro, a chorus and a uh, verse. OK. You kind of can just listen to it to see how long you want the chorus to go, how long you want the verse to go. General rule for the verse, the verse is twice as long as the chorus. OK, that's a general rule. OK. And so after you do that, we're going to go ahead and take, put this right here. Then you're going to take out the main differentiator. OK, between the chorus and the verse. And here, the main differentiator, OK, was this guitar part and the lead part. That's the main differentiator. If we didn't change anything else, we want to take that out. So now I also automatically know. And in this part right here, because these art pads, when I went back to listen to my beat, they had like a real good 
sound where I can build the beat some and different things like that. Okay. Once you do that, you want to just basically copy and paste this whole part, just the the the, the chorus and the verse at least two to three times. Okay. And then your tr your track is going to be your your song is going to be tracked out pretty much. But then you have to you know fine tune it. I'm gonna show you what I mean in the next lecture. Okay.